Here is a test problem for you. This is a kind of a complicated thing and I have summarized everything in this one particular question. So what you need to do is try to analyze this particular given graph and then answer the question. The questions here are identify the parent function f of x, write the equation of the transform function g of x, this is g of x. How are the points in two graphs related? Now, after watching all these videos in this playlist, you should be in a position to answer this question. So I'd like you to copy this and then answer. If you have difficulty, then you can write to me. Well, here is my suggestion also. So you can look into these suggestions to get the answer. I'll show you the approach which we should adopt to answer these kinds of questions, right? So the approach here is like this. <clears throat> First, analyze the given graph f of x. So we see f of x is this graph. And once you have f of x, write on critical points. So we have f of x and the critical points for this are origin. This is good point. That is also a good point. So the points good for us are 0, 0. And then we have 1, 1. And 4, 2. Now these points suggest, and the graph also, the shape of the graph, which you have learned from parent functions, it is a graph of square root of x. So we can say, well, this function f of x is actually equals to square root of x. Now that is because based on the graph of the function, and with the points, you can always check it works, right? So, so the function, parent function is square root of x. That's the first answer. Now to write the equation of the transform function, we need to analyze the transformation and then look into the graph of g of x. Now that is g of x. Now what happens in g of x? Which are the critical points on g of x? So if you start with, so let me use a different thing to show you the points on g of x. So it starts from here and then this is a good point for us and this is also a good point for us. So given these points, what we can do is, we can write them down and see what these points are. The so first we see is 0 is at x equals to 1, so 1, 0. And then at x equals to 0, the value is 1. And uh, here at minus 3, we have value of 2. Now if you try to relate to these points, what do you notice? You notice that y points are same. Do you see that? The y points are same. 0, 0, 1, 1 and 2, 2. Only x points change. When only x points change, so the note here is change in x. x coordinates, right? So change in x coordinates. That is what you notice. That means something to do with inside function. That means inside function. Transformed. That is what it means. Nothing is really happening to the y. So there is no vertical stretch compression or reflection. Nor there is any translation vertically. But here what we notice. We note two other transformations. So the transformations for us are, one, we know this reflection, right? Because it is facing to the other side. So it is a reflection on y-axis. So that is the first transformation you know. And second, you also note that this graph is actually kind of stretched. Or you could say that these points are actually speaking So what other things do you notice? One very clear you note is reflection on y-axis. The other one is 
it moves one unit to the right. So we'll write translation translation of one unit right. So it moves one unit right. So these are the two things which you really observe from here. So now how will they happen and what should be the equation? So from here you can say well now g of x should be square root of nothing outside right only inside the reflection on y axis means minus here and then within bracket translation of one unit to the right that means x minus one and you get your equation. So that is kind of first cut at the equation. You come to this equation now you check your points. So if you plug in one here one minus one is zero zero minus zero zero square root is zero so at one you get a zero that is correct. Now if I put zero here then it is minus one times minus one which is plus one square root of plus one is one perfect minus three minus one is four when you multiply by negative and square root is two so that also works that means our equation is correct. Now once you have checked your points with the equation and you're sure write down your answer. So the answer is that the transfer function is g of x which is square root of minus x minus 1. That is how we are going to answer these kinds of questions. I hope you understand and appreciate the method of doing it. Right Now coming back to question number part 3 of this question. Now part 3 says how are the points in the two graphs related? Right. So we say let us say that x and y is coordinate point on f of x any any right we took three in particular then on g of this is on f of x right then on g of x what is happening y remains same do you see so y remains same but x points what is happening to them the x points get reflected they become negative of what they were and then add one so you get negative x plus one since they move one unit to the right so that is how you are going to answer the third part of it. Right? You know, you got the equation and the equation g of x is, let me write again here, square root of minus x since we move towards the right, minus 1. I, I, I had to write minus, I wrote 1. Let me rewrite this, okay? So the equation is g of x equals to square root of minus x of 1 unit to the right minus 1 square root. Correct? So that is how you are going to answer this. And I hope you appreciate all this work which we did here to come to that conclusion. If you approach in this fashion, you should be in a position to correctly answer any question relating to horizontal transformation. All the best. Thank you.